In this tutorial, you will set up query stripping. Query stripping optimizes retrieval of data by requesting only records that are necessary to display a chart or a table and by not retrieving unused records that are part of an initial query. For the feature to work, it must be set up within the Information Design Tool IDT at the Universe level and in Web Intelligence at the Document level and at the Query level. The query stripping works for all OLAP data sources and relational data sources, including HANA. Right-click the HANA query stripping project. First, you need to ensure that the query stripping option is enabled within the universe on which the Web Intelligence document is based on or is going to be based on. Ensure that you open the business layer file BLX to check the query options. You need to save changes locally and then export the changes to the BI platform repository. Checking integrity is recommended but an optional step. For this tutorial you can skip it. Now in Web Intelligence, create a new document based on the universe that you have just modified. Select the universe and build the query. The initial query retrieves three columns. Examine the number of rows returned in the initial query. The initial query retrieves 1865 rows. Your task is to remove a column from a table. Investigate the number of records returned. Even though you have removed a column from the table, the number of retrieved rows still reads 1865. You need to ensure that the query stripping option is not only set on the universe level, but also set on the query level as well as on the document level. This should optimize the query and limit the returned number of rows. Ensure that the query stripping option is enabled on the query level. Examine the number of rows. Note that the query returns 11 rows. You have set the query stripping on the universe level and the query level. Most likely the query stripping is also set on the document level because the query returns only 11 rows. For the query stripping to be working, it needs to be set on all three levels. Verify that the query stripping is also set on the document level. Note that the query stripping is indeed enabled on the document level. In this tutorial, you have successfully set up the query stripping to optimize the retrieval of data from a HANA relational data source. This is the end of the tutorial.